Greetings everybody, Admiral Neelix here, and uh, you know what, I was just uh, watching the video I had just posted about the buddy system and to finish, uh, to help finish dailies. I uh, forgot to talk about what I was going to talk about. I went on to this rant about the missing parts building and all that stuff as far as the next survey mention or something. So let me, let me go ahead and complete that. This may be a short video, I might stretch it out, I don't know, but uh, here's the point I was trying to make. I don't think it's fair that um, a higher ship can hit so low of a, of a level and that low level not being able to hit back because the, the upper level was too high. <clears throat> Excuse me. I personally think that it should be set uh, by ship ability and crew ability. And, and I'll go into that a little further, but if they're not going to do that, then why not at least make it five up, five down? make it a little more fair a little more obtainable because i mean you know within five levels it, you should be able to to catch up and then you know maybe make a hey remember remember me when when you hit me a while back i'm gonna hit you back now you know be all creepy about it and everything so let's let i'm gonna want to show you something kind of make my point some some of you players may know this exists and uh, um, most of you new players probably won't. So we're going to come over here, and I'm going to go up to my little notebook here. Take a look at that website. That's pvptarget.com uh, forward slash question mark 23. All right, so I'm, let me highlight this real quick. We're going to open this. Now, with this here, okay, I think it's a pretty neat tool. Uh, I want to say it's about 98% accurate. Some of the levels are a little off on this. But I think that's because when this game was made, um, these the, this was a little more truer. Uh, it seems like some things have changed slightly when it came to what I'm talking about now. Uh, top arrow right here can uh, raise what level. The blue, le the blue in the middle, that's what level you set it to for your level. Okay, so I'm going to go to 38. Supposedly, I can hit down to a 25, and I think that's accurate. Up to a 58, and nobody's there yet. If there is, you might as well be fighting a base, you know. Um, and because look what happens when you knock it all the way up to, to 50. It says you can fight a 76. You're fighting Q at that moment, right? Like a Borg Q. Can you imagine that? Simulation is going to happen whether you want it or not, man. I'm just snap my fingers. That's Thanos uh, snapping his fingers right there if you're going to fight a, a, a 76. Be a little more real about it, right? It, I, I'm grumpy. I'm tired. It, it's it's 1.39 in the morning. <laughs> okay, so we're going to set this down to, to a lower all the way down. Uh, 8 being minimum there. 10 being able to hit that. And that's unfair too. See, eight can't get in the battle until they re you know you can't re get in the battle until you're ten. You can't f initiate a battle. So what that's going to do is that's going to make these ten guys when oh I can finally hit some opponents, some blues for PvP players. I can finally hit some blues. What are they going to do? They're going to pick on the eights. They're going to pick on the eights. They're probably going to be able to take care of some of the twelves, maybe. You know. But they're, they're going to pick on 8s. I think that's unfair. L l leave 8s alone. You know, keep it to where you can't get in the battle till you're 10. 10 can only battle 10s on up. You know, for however many they can handle. Whatever uh, the power of ship they can kill. Or whatever. Ah, eh, well. So the survey. I'm thinking 5 up, 5 down. I don't like the fact that let's uh, let's go ahead and raise it up to my level again i don't like the fact that at my 38 i think if you're a 25 uh, don't hold me to this but when i was 25 i was not able to hit a 38 okay um and i think that's unfair uh i don't i don't particularly like gamer bullies and that's what that causes right there. It enables them to be more bullies when, hey, I can hit you, you can't hit me. And I'm going to take advantage of that. And I'm going to ruin your game. And I'm going to make your rage quit. I'm going to make you put down the game and walk away forever. 
in the other video I mentioned Wallet Warriors. And, you know, back in the day when this game first started and people were already reaching this level and started to take advantage of that, there were a lot of people that quit. You would think that as a company, they would have made it a little more fair for that. Yeah, they want you to spend money and all this stuff, and that's fine. Uh, I still stand by what I said. The Wallet Warriors are the ones that keep those guys paid that keeps this game running. But look what it does for, for things like this. You know, I, I, whether I spend a couple of bucks or not, I still want to be able to hit you back. Why not make it by ship ability and crew ability? What do we have abilities for for each crew member? W what else is that for if you can't test your metal and fight another ship that may be a little stronger than you? Anyways, that, that's, that's really what I'm getting at here. Um, I think my ship is already back... Uh, or where it's supposed to be almost yeah it looks like it's parked okay so um here's a little ditty uh that that you might find interesting so with this particular crew here and then of course how i set my lower decks in a previous video i actually was able to cruise way up here if i haven't mentioned it before i was actually able to cruise all the way up to i believe it was I want to say it was this system here, and if not, probably this system. One of these 41 systems, I was actually able to kill a 41 uh, cargo ship, which was like in the 4 million power, with my Franklin A, as it's powered right now. Uh, same crew. Well, actually, let me take that back. And you know what? Did I even change them? I had the Chan crew. All right, I had Chan there instead of Talon when I did that. And, and surprisingly, I, I won. I, and, and, you know, it was, it was a, a, a goof. I went up there for the p purposes of finishing a mission where I needed to take an item to another character in the game. You know those. Um, I, I wasn't expecting to battle anything. And you know what? It, it, I didn't want to wait the whole 12 minutes it was going to take for my ship to return to base. So I went ahead and just, you know, I was thinking, okay, I'll just kill this or, or I'll just get killed by one of these reds. It gets in home quick and that way I can move on to a, to another part of the game. I won. I beat it. Left uh, about 50% of my hull. Almost. I tried to kill another one and I was dead. And rightfully so. It might have been a goof. Might have been a glitch. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, the ship, I looked for one that might have been wounded, you know, just to just for laughs. I found none, so I went ahead and attacked the one that I attacked. And, and there we go. So right now, I guess uh, I, I, I can tell you, I'm using my Franklin A. Um, and uh, I like the way it works. I'm stuck at level 38 right now, trying to catch up. And I won't be able to... Uh, build up this uh, ship anymore until I get to 39 because I am waiting uh, to reach that level I've done everything that I can to the ship already as much as you know like maxing out research uh, all the modules it's it's like the the first Franklin where you had to level up to get the the special warp core um, uh, to put in the engine so that's all I'm waiting for now is just that new part once I hit 39 so that I can maybe go up and, uh, you know, level it up uh, more and, and possibly tear it up again and then go hit some uh, level 41 swarms. Or if my dailies didn't um, make the level to kill higher for these swarms, if I'm still able to just stay at 39s and complete, maybe I'll be able to do it in one trip. As it is right now, I can do it in, in a... I call it one and a half trips because when I send my ship here for the second time, I only end up using about half, maybe just a little more than half of the hull uh, for the complete kills. Well, that's about it. Um, if you like this video, or even if you like the one before, if you like any of the points that I made in this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Pass it along to your friends. Uh, go down my playlist. See if there's something that I might have answered that you have a question for. If I haven't answered it yet, ask me in comments, and, and I'll try to figure it out as best as I can. Um, 
I do try to answer most uh, comments as much, as uh, quickly as possible. Uh, and of course, I will thank you for correcting me when I'm wrong. Please just don't be a, a dick about it, you know, as I always say. Um, so other than that, uh, you know what? Have fun. Take care. Uh, get those uh, surveys, you know, uh, put down there what you would like to see in the game. And you know what? Put it in comments. Maybe the whole community can uh, get together and and make some changes by way of surveys. I mean, that's why they're asking. They want to know what we want to see in this game. I want to see the Defiant. I don't want to see it as a two-star. I want to be able to trade uh, unusable goods or irrelevant goods or maybe uh, obsolete goods is a better word uh, to some of my lower levels. Things that I don't, I'm not ever going to use anymore. Why not uh, reward my uh, lower levels for it? I think that would be great. I think it would really be great. You know? Five up, five down. Ship ability versus crew ability. Or ship and crew ability versus ship and crew ability. I think that's... I think that... I don't think that's too much to ask. Now, granted, in order to do so... Now, let's be realistic about it. And some of you are probably screaming and getting ready to comment. Or are by now have probably already commented a few things already. I understand that they would have to reprogram a whole lot of stuff. I do. It's going to cause for downtime that may take more than three hours or, or, or what have you. Maybe they'll have to make a whole new server to test it out and then release it to the game and then have a few more game glitches until they fix it or whatever. But they are the creators of the game. They can figure it out. They figured out this much. They're way smarter than a lot of people who have tried to, uh, uh, you know, make their own games and on independence and all that stuff. But these guys they have the backing of CBS, Viacom, Paramount, you know there's 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 some there's people there. You know? Anyways. I'd like I, I don't know. I'd like to see it happen. I'm on a rant again. You guys forgive me when I go on these rants. Oh another thing too <laughs> and I swear I'm not doing this just so I can stretch it out to fifteen minutes. I don't know why that's a rule. I had just found out that I have 207 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you very much for putting your trust in me and helping you play this game. Now, you'll notice that my content doesn't cover uh, the normal stuff. This ship is coming out. This crew is coming out. All that stuff. I'm just basically trying to teach you the basics of the game. Little tricks of the trade that I've learned that have helped me. If they help you too, you know, as I, as I say in most of my videos, these videos are mostly made for my crew. It's just somehow somebody leaked it out and now y'all are watching it. And I appreciate that. Um, yeah. All right. You guys have fun. You take care. Good luck. I hope to, uh, you know, to hear from you in comments. It'd be nice to meet you. I'm not going to lie. I like meeting people. All right. I think that's about it. You guys have fun. Take care. Good luck. Bye-bye.